uneasiness is gone. Hello, look at everybody. Welcome back to uh, the show, whatever that show is. And so it's January. What's today's date, Adrian? January 26th? 26th. 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 So we've been uh, helping my mom January 26th, 2022. We've been helping my mom to uh, recover from COVID. We're not sure if she still has it, but like five days ago, what was it? Around the 20th? What day did she go in the hospital? Wednesday. Wednesday. The 19th. So on the 19th, she was diagnosed with COVID. So I've been staying home with her, taking care of her. Adrian's been here, taking care of her. We're chilling. A week ago. Yeah, a week. It's been Happy. a week today. Today's Happy Wednesday. Been taking care of Happy. You see him down there? Happy. Happy. Happy, you're on camera. Happy. Happy. Yeah, he's a diva. He's not going to look at the camera. He's sick of the camera. He moved in here. So how you feeling, Mom? Uh, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. Um, how did your experience go at the hospital? Good. Yeah? Yeah, they, they made me alive. They, they kept, made me alive. They kept, they kept me alive. They kept her alive. They put in a, uh, a pacemaker. pacemaker. Yeah. Um, your, her heartbeat was down to 32 beats a minute. 37, between 36 and 37. And her face was gray and had no color to it. Now look, you got your color back. Your heart's working it. I took your pulse yesterday and it was around 60 to 70 beats a minute. So that's good. Yeah. And now your whole body can work. I ordered some stuff on the catalog to help let me know what my body is doing. Oh yeah, part of her insurance. Yes, you can that's get right. machines to help diagnose her. She's eighty-five. Is it okay if I say your name? Say your age. That you're eighty-five. Yeah. You don't mind. How old are you? She'll be eighty-five. Oh, she'll be eighty-five. March twenty-second, three two two. Weird number. That's like the skull and bones numbers. I don't know it's if it's significant, hot, but she's a, an Aries. Is it still hot? We're drinking oh. tea and coffee. You drinking tea? Yeah. You don't like tea? It's okay. I'm drinking it. She hasn't lost her ability to make faces at everything. She makes faces at stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hard to please. Yeah. She's a pain in the ass is what they say. It's called a, being a pain in the ass. High maintenance. High maintenance. That's what I meant. How could I ever say my mom's a pain in the ass? You're not a pain in the ass. If anyone's a pain in the ass, I'm a pain in the ass, That's right? right? That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, anything else? So everybody on Facebook was really um, like... Wishing me well. And uh, it helped. Especially when I was sitting home alone for two days while you were in the hospital possibly dying and Adrian was in the hospital trying to save your life so that she wouldn't leave the hospital because these days you leave an elderly person in a hospital, you're taking your chances. They might just get M-worded, you know, murdered or neglected to Thanks death. to all the nurses though that work so hard. But my mom's experience was at MedFast was great on Port Malabar Road. Um... Oh, Palm Bay Road, Medfast. And hardworking nurses at the hospital. And the hardworking nurses at the hospital that really helped my sister. They're understaffed right now. A lot of the hospitals are understaffed, so they're doing two and three jobs at the same time, and these people maintain their patients because hospitals are understaffed because people are being sent home. Like dozens of people at a time are being sent home because they're testing positive for COVID. So the medical industry is really struggling so be patient adrian and i were there especially adrian she was helping my mom helping the nurses help my mom and, Mitch, and they had my operation yeah they totally the the nurse at uh, the doctor at medfast saved my mom's life they they had to work for like 15 minutes just to get her a pulse find her pulse because it was so low and the uh the um she my mom was about to pass out probably 10 minutes from death so we took her, the doctor said, let's test her. They had stopped testing for COVID for the day, but we brought her in there anyway. And that doctor was like, let's go ahead and test her. Then they did the rapid test and they said, yeah, she's positive. And they said, her heart rate's so low, she needs to go to the hospital emergency room. 
And then the next that what was it the next morning, Adrian? She had her train. Here she had her pacemaker put in. She couldn't breathe. She could not walk to take two or three, barely stand up because she has getting no oxygen to her body, no heart rate. Now she can get up, walk. She's getting her energy back. She's, made my own breakfast. She made her own breakfast this morning. So, all right. Well, thanks. Thanks everybody. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, so she's going to survive now. Now what she's going to do is intermittent fasting for um, about uh, the rest of her life. And if we can cut her meals down to seven, one meal a day, seven meals a week, instead of uh, three meals a day, 21 meals a week. The, I'm not a big eater anymore. She's not. So she should be able to live now to double her lifespan because if you, the, the percentage you decrease your calories is directly proportional to the percentage of increase in lifespan. So we're going to cut off her food mostly, cut it in about half anyway. And like she said, she's not a big eater. And I'm and I'm cutting my – I've already cut my uh, consumption in way in half where I'm doing one meal a day and now just mostly vegetables. Just trying to stay away from um, pasta. But we did have some linguine and clam sauce last night. My mom had and I had some of it too. So I'm susceptible to temptation also. I like pizza. You like pizza? Mom, do you like spaghetti and meatballs? Yeah, but I'm waiting for the food people to call me. Yeah, with her um, medical insurance, she gets 14 days of meals. What is it, Adrian? Two meals a day? 14 meals. 14 meals or 14 days? 14 oh, 14 meals. meals. Two a day. Two a day. So, and I'm waiting for so we're going to sit around so for uh, seven days and eat. All eat her meals together? Nah, probably not. Because depends. I was listening to the menu, and I'm trying to stay vegan. I don't want to eat too much meat. Mostly, we've been doing vegetables. Adrian eats as much vegan as possible, right? Yeah, even though I'm getting better, I'm in a weakened condition and can only do so much for myself. I need to relax and rest and, you know... The only reason I made breakfast was I made soft boiled eggs and I wanted that. So I gave it a try and I sat down while I did it. I didn't have to stand over the stove. But I want that food, I want the 14 food days, food meals, and I'll get them and when they come, I'll have seven days of where I don't have to cook or depend on someone else cooking for me. And then by then, I should have improved even more. But I'm in a weakened state, except I am getting better. So there you have it. All right, thanks. Thanks for all the well wishes. Peace.